Hi everyone. In this video, I will talk about the project files associated with the subway tunnel blueprint system, which is available on the Unreal Marketplace. So someone requested me to record a video demonstrating how these assets can be used in the engine. So I decided to show you like an in-depth explanation of the assets that you can use in this uh, package. So the first thing you need to know is when you download the pack and add that to your project, you will have a folder named Subway Tunnel and this will be located in your content folder. And under the Subway Tunnel folder, you will have five additional folders. The first one is the blueprints this is the actual blueprint that we will be using and we will also have maps and in here we will have two test levels one is for the uh, assess previews and one is for the demo scene so we have two levels here and we also have a couple of materials one master material and a couple of material instances I haven't used all of them in this project, but you can try to experiment with some of them, like the metal uh, material instances might actually be useful for your project. And then we have the static meshes. So we have like 16 static meshes here, and you can uh, just double click on one of them and see how they are set up in the scene. And the key here is that they're all uh, they are all designed to work together. So their pivot points, their locations, and their scales are set up in a way that they can work together. So this is the key that you need to think about. And you can also, you will also have access to the FBX files. So if you need to add some more variations to the setup, you will be able to do that using those FBX files. And then we also have a couple of LODs. We have four levels of LOD, which will significantly increase performance. And that's basically it. And we also have the textures folder. And inside here, you will have the 1K, 2K and 4K texture sets. And they are uh, designed in a way that maximizes uh, performance of your project. So this is basically it. So let's just go back to our maps folder and double click on this SS preview level. It will take a couple of minutes and here are all the assets that you can just quickly preview here. And as I said earlier, these meshes are designed in a way that they can work together. So if there is a symmetrical mesh like these pipes, these large pipes here, they will snap to the grid and they will snap to other meshes in the setup. For example, if I just move these meshes like here where it meets the ground and then I can just bring the walls mesh this way I can make sure that they actually work together. So if I just move this back just a little bit, you will see that they actually snap together and all the remaining assets will just fit the setup. The only exception will be the ant meshes. These are the ones that are not included in the blueprint, but they are designed to help you close the seams when your setup is finalized. So let's just have a look at that. Now I will just double click the subway tunnel level map here and I'll just say don't save anything. So this is the test level that you can just see how these are put together. You will you can see that we can quickly uh, navigate inside this tunnel and all of these meshes are going to work together and finally 
we will have the ant meshes that you can easily just position at the end of your tunnel setup. Now what I like to show you is how you can actually put the put the tunnel into action. So let's just click the blueprint here and just delete it. And next thing I like to do is to go to my blueprints folder and here's the blueprint that is actually created and it is actually designed to work together and here's a sample preview this blue the blueprint here is designed to work based on 400 units in unreal engine so if you design your spline points based on 400 grids they will actually work together so let's just click and drag the blueprint down here and position it. Now that the spline setup is snapped to the ground mesh I have here, I can now just click the blueprint and click one of the spline points, like the one at the end, and you will see that the gap between two spline points is actually roughly around 400 units. So this is the first spline point and this is the second point and they will come by default with the spline mesh and the third point will allow you to make the uh, make the tunnel setup a little bit longer. But before I do that I need to change my snap size to 100 And then I will just hold down Alt and click one of these spline points here and then hold down Alt and click and drag one, two, three, four times. This way I will be able to minimize the level of stretching between the two pieces. And then I can do this like infinite number of times. So one, two, three, four. So I have another one and I can also just start rotating the meshes here like for example you can go two or three steps a little bit and then just slowly move it towards the left and then again you can just experiment with the distance and try to minimize the level of stretching. And this is basically it. And once you just bake your lighting, we will get rid of all the lighting problems and all of these meshes will snap together perfectly. So that's all I wanted to talk about. If you have any questions, just don't hesitate to contact me. But please send me an email, that's the best way that I can keep track of what is going on. Otherwise, the Unreal Marketplace doesn't really send me any notifications. So the best way to contact me with any questions is to send me an email. So, thanks for watching.